Hey guys, today we're going to do an introduction to Kismet. Uh, we'll include uh, shooting out a light, opening a door, and picking up items uh, to open that door. And then we'll also do a camera fly through uh, using matinee. Uh, we'll take you through the actions and events of Kismet and get, get you uh, up to the date with dolls and familiar. Uh, first, we'll build a level to contain all these uh, things for Kismet in, though. So we'll get started with uh, building the level. Uh, we'll pull up our generic browser. Uh, clicking on this button here. Uh, I already had it open in another window. And um, I'm going to scroll to LT Floors, uh, which is in um, your UT3 folder. Um, if I just close these. Uh, so you've got UT, UT Game here, uh, Content, uh, UT3, uh, and then Environments, and then down to LT Floors, I think I said. Right, so. I'm just going to drag and drop this mesh into the, the window uh, and I'm going to start building out a floor. So I'll just duplicate this and I'll just shut this window so we can see a little bit more. And then I can just uh, select two objects at a time by holding down control and left clicking. And, and then if I hold alt I can duplicate with the alt key. So I'll hold alt and drag them into position. Uh, I've got my grid set at 16. Um, if if you wanted to change it to 32, uh, that will give you a bit more usability as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and control Alt, um, con just Control, sorry, and select those, and then hold Alt again, and drag those down there, and then I'll just do two more over to here. Okay, and then I'll hold Control down again. Just duplicate these across, and maybe once more. There we go. And then I'll just hold Alt again, and one, two, and I think that should just about do it. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to move these into the center of the level a bit more. I'll just select a tile with left mouse button, and go up to select and then select matching static meshes this will select all our floor pieces and I'll just move them a bit more central I think um, I'll just select this box and press delete uh, that will just move that out of the way right uh, so we need some walls now so I'll open my content browser again and uh, try and find some walls I'm going to use HT, HU walls sorry uh, same method, just drag and drop this into the scene. Alternatively, if you have this selected, you can right click in your level and add static mesh. Uh, that'll do the same thing. I'm just going to delete that. Uh, I personally prefer just dragging and dropping, it's much easier. And the good thing about Unreal stock assets uh, is that they are modular, which means they'll easily connect together. So we can just line that up with the thing using our widget. Um, just keep it in mind from previous tutorial, pressing spacebar will change this widget to scale, move, rotate. Uh, I'm just going to hold down the alt key and just drag and then control again and alt. Just duplicate across. And we only need one more so I'll just select one, hold alt and put that into place. Right. So we can uh, select these and drag them across, holding Alt this way. I think these are these two pieces actually aren't the same on both sides. We'll just check this out by uh, if you click on uh, not light map density, sorry, texture. No, nope. uh, lighting only. Sorry, yeah, lighting only. Uh, we can see that that's got a little bit of grooving where the other side is blank. So we'll go back to the lit mode and. What we'll do, we'll uh, tra um, transform these into X. Um, keeping in mind uh, our axis, uh, I think we're actually in Y this time. So I'll right click, transform, uh, mirror in Y, and it just flips them over. So then we can put them into place there, and that seems to fit pretty good. Uh, I'll hold Alt again with all these pieces selected, and just drag them up there. This time I'll press spacebar. For rotate and rotate on 90 degrees. Uh, it should lock into 90. If it's not locking, 
uh, you rotate down here uh, should be set I mean generally anything is good as long as it's set I'll actually change that up to 11 and keep the toggle rotation checked at all times should have grid units checked at all times as well um, and we'll just move these into place pressing spacebar again to change change the, the widget and that should link in pretty nicely there uh, just select that, hold alt drag that into place okay it's looking pretty good I'll just select these three again and it's pretty much just filling out the level holding alt uh, spacebar rotate these round make sure you're rotating in the right direction of the the mesh so you can see exactly what's going on uh, that doesn't look too lined up at the moment um, yep, uh, so looks good just one more on this side and as you can see because these meshes are all um, the same kind of dimensions they're fitting into the the floor tiles perfectly um, I'll just keep keep filling out the level and rotating just making sure I'm selecting this uh, 90 degrees spacebar again filling it out and I think we should just hit the end right here okay uh, select the fourth one uh, hold alt and copy transforming why I thought I think we're in at the moment yep and that looks pretty pretty tidy to me okay so we've got these ugly corners here um, it's just the way the meshes line up I'll just close this generate browser so you get a bit of a better picture it's just the way they line up so we'll add, add some uh, trim work um, to fill out those holes uh, what we'll do we'll use a, a pillar uh, I'm going to use LT Buildings 2 and the third third pillar along just drag that into place um, it's a bit small at the moment so we're going to how to scale these um, down here you've got uh, four different types of scale you've got an overall draw scale so if we click 2 in there all the dimensions change by 2 or we have X and Y so if you put 1.5 it will go wider I'll just put 2 in there uh, and then uh, if you go 5 you know it changes in the opposite um, direction ax axis even uh, the last one is the Z axis so if we put 1.5 it goes a bit taller I mean we do want a scale of about 1.5 but I want an overall scale as well so 1.4 is good I mean it does touch a bit over the top if you want to be real really pedantic about that you can bring it down to like 1.35 and that, that just about fits maybe 1.34 and fits even nicer I mean you don't necessarily need to do that it, it's personal choice um, so that's in place uh, we're just in the top down view here uh, we'll move that to make it plush in the corner uh, and then we'll alt drag this across to the other corner as well just to make sure it fits in nicely there um, that looks pretty good to me right so we'll get going with um, a ceiling what you can do is you can select the floor tile uh, right click again select select uh, static uh, select matching static meshes this class which will select all the floor pieces as you can see in the top view they're all selected and simply you could just alt drag those up to the roof uh, so you have a roof maybe uh, transform them uh, in Z uh, and then you'd have a nice looking roof uh, I want to do something a little bit different which is working with BSP brushes so I'll just with these all selected I'll just hit delete again because we want to make use of this moonlight we want a few few holes in our ceiling um, for some vents so what I'll do is I'll select this red builder brush here if you can't see the red builder brush just hit the B button uh, B on your keyboard toggles the, the, the state of it so what we're looking for is we'll go over to this brushes tab um, and right click on the cube here so this build, uh, brings up build a brush cube so what we want is if we're just selecting this in here in the top top view uh, we want a cube that's if we use our middle mouse button um, just hold it down and drag brings out a little ruler uh, and that says um, it's five 
512 units long. Um, if we if we just hold if we select both these tiles, it's uh, 512 across. Uh, we can bring down our grid size by pressing the brackets on your keyboard. Uh, the bigger bracket makes the grid bigger. Um, the smaller bracket makes the grid smaller, just for future reference. Uh, so we need um, a piece that's uh, 512 units wide. That's the height. So we're in Y, 512. That'll cover our uh, ceiling if we just drag that into place. And then we'll go for a value of 1024 for the, the, the length. Also change Z to 32 if it isn't already 32. And then we'll just move that into place down there and in our different viewports. Just make sure it sits nicely on the top. Again, if it's not dragging and dropping nicely into these, just uh, lower your grid units by pressing the brackets on the um, keyboard. So uh, that looks pretty, pretty good so far. Uh, that's all in line. Uh, so we'll just hit Control and A on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can go over to CSG Add, and that'll do the same thing. Uh, so just in your viewport, Control A, and that adds a nice little roof to our building. So in the top view, if you press Alt and W, that hides any static meshes. So if we just move this red builder brush out of the way, this is our additive brush. All additive brushes are blue, um, just to keep that in mind. So if we hold Alt and drag it, and then rotate it 90 degrees, and so it fits in line with here. Ideally, I'd, I'd like to be on the major grid lines. I'm just one unit out of there, but um, it, it really doesn't matter. It's just just a thing that I like to do. If I call, hold Control and Alt and W, sorry, again, you can see that fits in pretty pretty nicely with the um, the um, ceiling. Sorry. Uh, if we, because we've duplicated a brush, it doesn't actually show up straight away in this window. I mean, we can see the outline of the brush, but it isn't actually there. So if we go to build geometry, this uh, green thing uh, button there, then it builds our um, ceiling for us. Alternatively, if we go and grab our red builder brush again and drag it up into place, uh, then when you add it, um, Alt and W to hide the static meshes again. Just make sure we're nice and in line there. Um, and then Alt and W uh, fits in pretty nicely. We've got a little bit left over at the end, so we'll just close this Builder Brush cube. And then we want to go in to Geometry Mode at the top here, which allows us to modify this red Builder Brush without having to put in values. So if you hold down Control and Alt together, and then left mouse drag, you can select these two vertices and all we want to do is just drag them up to the top. Uh, that looks pretty nice so select off the vertices and then click your red build brush again and just hit control and alt and that looks pretty nice. So we'll leave it there for now and go into adding some doors and some other little decals in there.